Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you are well. Now today's video is the first in a brand new series where I dive in at the deep end and try and learn as much as I possibly can about seven star northern praying mantis kung fu. I'm very lucky that uh, Cameron Hurst Shifu has agreed to come along and uh, take me through some of their fundamentals, some of their basics, and hopefully he'll cut me some slack seeing as I'm very old and very broken. In today's video, he tells us a little bit about the history of uh, Praying Mantis Kung Fu and a little bit about how the, the system is put together and constructed and some of their basics and fundamentals. This is very interesting stuff and Cameron has said he's happy to answer any uh, questions, so just throw them down in the comments and we'll, we'll get back to everybody as quickly as we can. If you enjoy this, don't forget, smash the like button, kick, click the little bell thing so you get notifications and uh, enjoy the video. The Seven Star Mantis style comes out of China. It's a traditional Chinese martial art and it dates back around 350 years. So it's in the scheme of Chinese martial arts, it's relatively young. Although because it is a hybrid system, it incorporates a lot of older styles into the system. So we do consider ourselves a Shaolin Kung Fu system, although our particular style, which is known as Seven Star Praying Mantis, originates from the Shandong Peninsula in China, um, whereas the Shaolin Temple is more in kind of central China, Hunan province. Um, but we do have we do have traditions, and we do have particular um, actions, techniques, forms, and historical documents that we trace back to the Shaolin Temple. So the Seven Star Praying Mantis system. Um, is supposedly originated by a man called Wang Lung and he came from a place called Peng Lai in the Shandong province of China and the story goes that he couldn't defeat his Kung Fu brothers and when he was alone his Kung Fu brother was traveling for a few years and he found a praying mantis in the forest saw it attacking a cicada and learnt from the movements of how it attacked and retreated and used its basically used its its front claws to grab and to attack the cicada. So we have a lot of techniques which derive their idea from the, the praying mantis insect, although we're not trying to imitate the insect so much. We're just using the concepts of the way it uses its arms. It's not a direct copy of the way the mantis moves, and you'll see that um, when we do some work with Duncan and what we are trying to achieve with the idea of the mantis actions. So my, my personal background, uh, I moved to China um, back in 2003 where I lived for about 13 years and during that time I found a teacher there. My teacher is Kai Yu Pell and he's um, known as the godfather of mantis in Europe. So he was the first person to bring praying mantis kung fu to Europe. And he still teaches privately to a small select group of students. Um, currently based in, he's currently based in Germany. And hopefully one day he's going to actually move to New Zealand. So the seven star praying mantis line is most famous for the lineages that go through the Jingwu Association. The Jingwu Association is the association that was founded uh, in originally in Shanghai. Um, this was made famous by the Bruce Lee movie, Fists of Fury, where he basically defends the death of his master against the Japanese. So the, the original uh, founder of the Jingwu Association was a master named Huo Yanjia, but he actually died before the association was, was properly set up. When they founded the Jingwu Association in Shanghai, they wanted to bring the best masters from around China to the association to teach the Chinese martial arts and essentially make the Chinese people stronger because at that stage they were considered uh, the weak men of Asia. So they selected a bunch of different martial artists from different styles. So they had some Tai Chi, they had Eagle Claw, they had a uh, Shaolin, the, the major Shaolin system, because Shaolin itself is not a system. Um, it's, more, it's more akin to a university. 
where they had different styles, different systems, different weapons. And they selected a teacher from the Seven Star Praying Mantis lineage. And he came down to the Jingwu Association in Shanghai. And then from there, the Jingwu Association spread throughout China and also throughout Asia. So down to Southern China, Hong Kong, then later to Malaysia, Singapore and places like that. And that really helped the spread of Seven Star Praying Mantis. The Seven Star Praying Mantis system essentially takes a lot of the foundations of uh, Shaolin Kung Fu in terms of the stances and um, some of the movements as well. And because Mantis is actually considered a, a hybrid martial art, so according to our history, we say we are a combination of 17 other styles. So we, we, we have taken a lot of different elements of other styles to combine together. And that means that the system um, has a lot of different theory within it. But in general, we keep a lot of the structure of the northern Chinese martial arts. So we have things like eight stances in terms of range. We use a long range, which would be like a, a standard punch. We have a mid range where you're talking things like elbows. And then we have a short range where you're a lot of times using your wrist. So this kind of action here or this part of the wrist. So we have different ranges, footwork, uh, looking at it from the outside, Seven Star Praying Mantis looks very linear. So when we do our forms or what you would say in Aikido Kata, um, we generally move forward and back a lot, but that's actually because a lot of the rotational and angular movement is very small. So it's, a lot of people don't notice the angles that we take, but as you progress through the levels, those become much more important. So for a beginner, you're going to learn more about moving forward and back. And as you get better, the angles of attack are gonna be incorporated into that forward and backward movement. So in this series, we're gonna take Duncan through some of the core techniques of the system. So things like the stances, some of the basic handwork um, and how to grab and how we attack uh, using our hands and using our grabbing incorporated with striking and some of the movement patterns. And then we can also get through to some of our slightly more advanced techniques, which include the sticking and following hands. And if, if we have time, we can also look at how we take advantage of different reactions from the opponent to take advantage of their body movement and then continue our attacking because Mantis is known as a kind of continuous striking type style. So hope you enjoy it, hope you learn something from it and looking forward to training with Duncan. Thank you.